No trails were harmed in the making of this video. Hello everyone, welcome to my channel, Fife and Flow. I have my friend here today, Ryan Gordon. What up? And we're gonna see today if he can teach me how to Scandinavian flick. The Scandinavian flick is a stylish move to do a corner by bringing your rear wheel into the corner, opening up to the outside. We decided to scout out some corners on a local favorite called Bob's. This is a pretty fast and flowy blue trail. Now let's hear some tips from Ryan about the Scandinavian flip. So when you come into the corner, you aim the bike right in the corner. You skid out the back wheel just a little bit, let off brake here, and then you're in the corner on the down part of it. I so see. So you set the bike up just a little bit better for the corner, instead of going up and around like this, and then, you know, the angle of the bike has to be so much sharp instead of like that. Yeah, I see that. So just offset the bike into the corner. It's like on a drift car, when they make a little a uh, little bit and then they rip around it just yes. sets up for the corner better plus it looks cool it looks cool too watch any drift video and you'll see them do the scandinavian flick too Brian, how are you going to teach me how to do the scandinavian flick well there's a couple things you got to do speed braking power and confidence you just got to go in the corner really fast trust your back brake to lock up and slow you down just a hair but you gotta really trust the late berm to catch you. That's all it is. That's how a corner is ripped. Simple. So this is the first time that I've been going on flats in probably about, I don't know, eight months. So we're gonna see if I can still ride a bike. I did kind of kick my rear end over. Symbol on paper, let's just try it. <laughs> ah! Well, that didn't go well. And uh, neither did that one. Well, it's way easy to like understand it, but actually do it's pretty hard, so. You are not wrong. No, okay, it's well. It's taken years, folks. Well, let's see if I can do it in a day. Or two, we'll see. This is another corner we're gonna try. So Ryan, why are we trying this corner? Because it's a really steep corner with a great pad on the front of it. So you're gonna come down right here, walk up the back brake right here, start skidding, and about here, let go of the bike. Let go of the bike? Let go of the brake. Don't let go of the bike, because then you'll let crash. It go. Yeah, just like, no, brakes. And then you're here, and the bike is ready just to start really just pinning it into the corner. If you end up way up high here, you're already shooting the corner too wide. You're gonna be under steering, not over steering. We want perfect steering. Gotcha. Okay, let's see it done. Let's see it done. Woo! Under steer. <laughs> All right, take two. Take two. What's some advice you want to give me, Ryan, before I try well, this? When you're learning it, choose a corner that's not going to kill you. So this corner, as you saw earlier, I didn't get it well and I hit the tree. But it's a mellow place, so I walked away from it okay. So just choose a nice corner and if you mess it up, just don't get hurt, friends. And then just squeeze the brake. You lock the brake up. Squeeze it. Whoa. Then I got a little bit too brake happy and I was skidding, but I wasn't producing any type of flick. All right, Ryan, what's the point of that little stick right there? It's where you should start skidding. <laughs> so my skid mark is here and the stick was there. All the way there. I think I need a bigger stick. I didn't see that at all. Well, if you had a bigger stick. Then I'd run it over and die. So, yeah. all right, another round. 
Well, Danica was complaining about the itty bitty stick, so I got her a nice little arrow to indicate where she should start her skid. I see that I'm skidding straight. All right. You got the skid, but you gotta get the flick. Because the skid only essentially just slows you down, which doesn't really fix the problem of hitting the corner at the best way. So you wanna flick your back wheel out with your hips. Just kinda like, just turn them. You don't wanna do it with your bars because then you like don't want off weight. Necessarily you want off weight words. Words. Basically you just wanna off weight your back wheel, just a hair, and then flick it with your hips kinda out. And then when you're done braking, done skidding, you weight your back wheel again and you go back to that nice balance into a corner, drop a foot, and then you can get the corner nicely. But basically you just wanna off, -weight, off weight your back wheel when you're braking heavily and then back on weight when you're off brakes. Okay. After hearing Ryan explain it again, things started to click a little bit. I was able to time the skid with the flick and was able to feel pretty good about it near the end. Oh, gorgeous. I want to hear what you think. Do you think I got the Scandinavian flick within a day? Comment below. watching make sure to hit that subscribe and notify button now i hope you go and find some flow yeah like that try to get like ridiculously sideways like this like yeah can i try to do it where it's one continuous skid so you're not hopping it yeah.